guys. Name's just be here. Let me keep it 100, like 100% with you guys. I was not expecting to use my new intro as quickly as I am, but I just got news that Magic Johnson has uh, decided to step down as president of operations for the Los Angeles Lakers. And you know me. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the biggest, if not the biggest Lakers fan out there. We're not making the playoffs, I know. And tonight of all nights when we're supposed to be celebrating Dirk Nowitzki and Dwayne Wade, some of the greatest players of the 2000s, the 2010s, even the early, well, Dirk, early, no, nah, like 2000s, yeah. And here we are stealing the show, the Los Angeles Lakers, once again. I mean, I don't really know what to say uh, except he had it coming. Or not that not that he had it coming, but here I'm gonna I'm gonna get into a cohesive thought. Let me tell you why I believe that him stepping down as president is a good thing for this organization. One, that AD trade or that fiasco of a supposed AD trade, like it still gives me nightmares thinking about it. This guy did not know how to handle that situation. It made me so mad as a, as a fan, as a person. I was I was personally offended by the fact that he would give up the entire youth of the Los Angeles Lakers for AD. I think it's stupider that the Pelicans didn't take the trade. They would have gotten Kuzma, Ball, all of the young guys. You know, I think Zubac at the time was was still part of that trade. Like, it made me wonder, like, what was this guy's plan? I'll be real. The only good thing that came out of Magic Johnson being the president for the uh, for, of operations, excuse me, is the fact that we did get LeBron James. That's true. We got LeBron James. You can't you can't say anything bad against that. But everything else has just been so sad. It's it's been something that I, I feel like I, I don't really know what's going on with him. He traded if he, it's a Zubac for this dude named Mus, Mus, Muscala, Muscala, blah, 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 blah. you know the the one that that always misses his shot. Oh, that guy. You guys know who I'm talking about. And it's stupid because now that he's on the Clippers, he's really showing out. He's really showing his potential and what he can do in the NBA as a big. And it's sad because he could have been with us. Other examples of guys that have moved on to other teams but could have been amazing. D'Angelo Russell, Ice in My Veins. The dude's an all-star now, superstar almost for the for the for the Nets. He's going to the playoffs. He's laughing right now. Another dude who's laughing right now, Julius Randle. Of course, he's not going to the playoffs, but he is laughing cuz he's finally out of LA who I mean, we've not done well as an organization as of late these last couple of years have just been sad hopefully we can turn it around next year but yeah this is huge news you guys who do you guys think is going to be the new president uh do you think palinka had anything to do with this you think genie bus had anything to do with this do you think the fact that this season as a whole you know being under 500 and not successfully making the playoffs had anything to do with it or do you think he's just given up and he just wants to you know make sure that his Dodgers do good and just focus on the Dodgers because he also is the owner if not part owner of uh, the Dodgers right but yeah I just thought that I had to give my my two cents on this I think it's a good thing uh, we need change we need to get rid of Genie, in my opinion maybe even Rob Palenka just a whole an overhaul of the entire organization uh yeah that's all i gotta say and i mean hey at least i gotta use my new intro you know uh make sure to leave a like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications you guys have a great rest of your day